Van der Waal forces. Van der Waal forces are intermolecular forces. That means attractive forces attractive forces between molecules. So this is very important to distinguish between molecules from intramolecular forces which have to do with the bonding or transmission the transmitting of ele of electrons. So it's the atoms that hold the molecule together. So that's chemical bonding. Van der Waals forces are a bit different because they involve the attractive forces between molecules. There are three types of Van der Waals forces and Van der Waals come Van der Waals forces comes from the Dutch physicist Johan van der Waals who discover who who dis discovered and thought of of the ions and dipoles the things that interact to make these forces. So there are three types that we're going to discuss. First is dipole dipole forces, forces that act between polar molecules. So polar molecules have have an end that is positive or negative and they are usually they usually have permanent dipole moments. So they are plus or negative. So on po one end they are positive, one end they're negative. Okay? And this force, this attractive force makes other ones attracted to it. So a negative and another positive dipole. So this is one dipole, this is another dipole, and they would be attracted. So this molecule is attracted to this molecule because of their charges. And a very specific strong type of dipole-dipole interaction is called a hydrogen bond, and that is that is discussed in another video, but the hydrogen bonding is definitely a dipole-dipole force that acts between polar molecules. But dipole forces can encompass more than just hydrogen bonding. Another type is ion-dipole forces. Ion-dipole forces are when an forces that operate between an ion and a dipole. The attractive force of an, an ion either a cation or an anion, so a positive or a negative one, with a polar molecule to each other. So the polar molecule, when, the difference between a polar molecule is that its dipole, this plus or negative, is, us, is usually always intact. The ion means that it has a positive or negative charge, and the dipole has a positive or negative end that that ion is going to be attracted to. And the strength of this interaction depends on the charge and the size of the ion. So that's why it's important to know the ion size so that you know the magnitude or how big that attraction is going to be. So, for example, H2O will really interact, will have a weak interaction with sodium, with sodium ion. But with an Mg2, because it's Mg2+, plus, depends on the charge, it's going to have a strong interaction. So the interaction between Mg is going to be strong interaction, and this is going to be a weaker interaction. So they can vary in the strength of their interaction depending on the size and the, the, the charges that are involved. The last force we're going to talk about is a London dispersion force. Dispersion forces are attractive forces that arise as a result of temporary dipoles. So temporary, things that are temporary because they are induced in the atoms or molecules. Basically, in if there is a polar molecule in proximity, which means closeness to atoms or those molecules, they will be induced to become a dipole so they will become they would have a positive and a negative end because of because of the proximity of that polar molecule and so this interaction is called a london dispersion force or just dispersion forces so those are the three types of van der waals forces that act in between or intermolecularly